Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the Spider's Web and in this video we are painting this number 8 uh, Middle Eastern building from Blots and uh, this was kindly provided by Andy from Wigan War Games and Roleplay Group it's a group that is based at the Masonic Hall in Pemberton um, we're not affiliated at all with the Masons, we are just a user group in the hall and we meet every Wednesday at 7 o'clock till about half past 11 so if you'd like to come along and take part in our group please feel free to pop along and we'll be happy to see you, we'll be happy to welcome you into the group and we've had a few, about three or four new members over the past few months and we'd always like some more so please 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 come along play a few games with us, have a laugh and a joke with us spend your evening um, in good company and uh, you'll be able to enjoy yourself so um, we are not going to be going through step by step what we're doing um, I'll give a, a good I'll give a rough idea of what we're doing um, as we're going along I think um, but the interior green we're using for the floors on the inside and then we have a blue for the walls on the inside and then mixed and then um, from there we'll do the outside of the building which usually consists of um, like a middle like middle stone uh, dark earth light green um, yellow ochre and then for other parts of the building uh, the mahogany and that's about it really we just cover it in um, we've we're doing a patchy job of it because we want it to make it we don't want to make it look all um, like one flat color we're trying to make it just hints of different colors in the uh, it's not so that you can't can't just see one color you're looking at um, all different colors and it looks more interesting to the eye um, so that's basically what we're doing and uh, no rhyme or reason to it we just put the colors on and it fits so you'll see the colours or photographs of the uh, pots as I change colours so you know you can keep in the track of what we're painting and uh, <clears throat> and you'll see how we're doing it as we go on so it's a very simple job it takes about half it takes about an hour to do all this that includes um, cleaning out the airbrush in between paint colours so there we are so as I say, I'm not going into detail on and step by step instructions on what we're doing because um, it's obvious and uh, I've already done it about a few times before so uh, I don't want to keep rehashing the same thing and making it sound as though it's the same video narration for each one so I'm going to have a bit of a chat once more and uh, follow on from the last painting video I did and I just want to let you know that um, things I said in the last video um, I'm hoping um, that I've not sort of like upset anybody or um, got anybody worried uh, at the moment I am though the thoughts that I was talking about in the uh, pre in the last or well, the previous uh, painting video um, they're subsided and his mind club is working wonders it's allowing me to get things off my chest you know they say a problem shared is a problem halved it works so um yeah don't worry i have no intentions and no plans and no temptations whatsoever of following through on the um thoughts i was talking about at that time well that is at the moment um you know, I'm just going to take each day as it comes and uh, just try and get myself back to a good state of mind and becoming, being creative, getting painting again, making models again um, that helps, well it helps me anyway it gives me something to focus on I can forget worries, I can forget troubles whether real, you know, whether real or perceived um, you know it's all adds up to affecting your mental health even if you think there's something and there isn't actually it's just something that's in your mind that is bothering you it can cause an effect even if it doesn't actually exist and you just got into your own head and 
you've um, you've taught yourself into feeling this way you know um, so that's where someone like Andy's Man Club does help but enough about that I don't want to dwell on things like that again in this video we've been through it in that last one um, so whatever I said in the last one I was talking about things from the past few months the way I have been feeling I'm not feeling that strongly at the moment and uh, please don't worry um, uh, I can only say that for the moment I'm no intention of going anywhere <laughs> you stuck with me the spider's web will continue for as long as I can see <laughs> Um, so speaking of the spiders web continuing we are going to be going to Cornwall in a few weeks um, we're spending a week down there with my brother and his wife um, sharing a one of these static caravans on a campsite and uh, just basically basing ourselves there and then going around and seeing the sites I've never been so I don't know what to expect down there apart from apparently lovely scenery um epic coastal areas now i'm one more for mountains woodlands forests that kind of thing i'm not one for um beaches and coast but i'm always open to trying new things and you know the time away from home may again just be something i need to do um, to clean my mind so as I say we have creative things that I want to be doing um, there's videos I want to uh, uh, film and put out I've not started on any of them yet but I have every intention of doing so I have a couple of dioramas that I want to make up um, it's not something that I'm incredibly used to yet I've only actually done one and um, that was off camera I wanted to try things out first before I did anything you've seen part of it um, you've seen the way I paint up the diorama piece I still have to finish it yet um, we keep getting so far with things getting the craft room sorted out and tidied up clear a space for me to work and then something happens and we have to dump everything in there again um, and then I have no space to work so I'm trying to we're trying to get the flat sorted out that's the key thing first to um, make space get rid of things that we're not reusing anymore um, things that we get rid of things that we don't need and as I say get basically get the flat sorted especially the crafting room because that at the moment is a bit of a junk room I've got a little bit of space to work and that's why I can manage to do these um, but as I say I've got dioramas I would like to try and build I've got models that I need to paint um, I've got the Necromunda Ash Wastes um, starter set to do for Andy I've got dinosaur models that I've already made that I need to paint up as well um, one of the dioramas is to do with um, dinosaurs I want to make some a little something for my granddaughter and there's the World War II um, desert one that I want to make up for myself um, so yeah we've got a few things lined up in the crafting aspect so we'll get creative with that and uh, put the um, terrain making kit from uh, the Emma painter to its full uh, to its uses <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting into getting into that properly um, after the hash I made of that like uh, acid lake or whatever it, whatever I did however I did it and it's not just um, what we call it it's not just diorama painting and model making that I want to do um, I want to get back to doing game night videos I want to get the uncut waffle videos back on the go um, I we been in the car we've been around here there and everywhere and I've not done a road two. you've not been in the new car yet and uh, I've had this car for a few months now and um, I say you've not been in that one yet the last one I did it was in the higher vehicle when I had to send mine back because of a an issue with it which they 
haven't the faintest idea what it was, but um, they were telling me it was could possibly be a dodgy batch of fuel um, because when this been when all the fuel's been restocked, it seems to be working okay. And since I got it back, I've had no issues at all with it, so it's nice. So I'm going to get a new a bracket put in there for the for holding the camera, and then we can get road two videos done as well. Um, we're also back at Hospital Radio. I don't know whether I mentioned this in the previous one. Um, so that's keeping me busy. Um, I've got two shows on the go. One is very structured. It's called the Time Warp Church Show. And that takes place on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, and it's on uh, Wrightington Hospital Radio. Or WWL Radio as it's called now. Um, and that takes a lot of planning. Because I go back to um, particular or different years in the past and play the top 20 UK singles from that year so we'll go with that the the actual date um, so next week's show will be from the week which has um, the 29th of August in it um, and back to a particular year that has been voted or that is being voted on uh, by listeners um, I put a poll up every week at the end of the show and uh, with a choice of four years to go back to between 1952 and 2020 um, or 2019 I think I cut off at. Um, yeah I cut, usually cut off between two, about 2019 um, so then it's just a case of uh, finding the chart listing finding the music and uh, then making sure it's okay for using getting it all on CD and uh, taking it in and then presenting the show it's fun and while when I'm not doing that as you may be able to see I'm getting into more <laughs> um, I wouldn't say fashion choices but uh, I'm getting my working on my appearance a little more um, I've had another two ear piercings um, on the top of my left ear uh, so I've started wearing earrings again. I've started getting the fingernail extensions or fingernail tips done and uh, painted nails, just to give it something, just you know, just to make myself feel a little better. And uh, the beard's getting dyed silly colours again. It's back to being dark. Well, it's, at the moment it's very dark blue, as you can see, and um, also got the tattoos gone to go as well. So. I'm working on my appearance. I'm working on trying to get myself into a state where I feel comfortable with myself. Um, and in between all that, we've got the YouTube channel to work on. And as I say, uh, we've got the crafting stuff, painting stuff to do. I want to start getting the my easel out and my, um, my paints and actually do it's like artwork videos again um, as well as just painting models just like painting pictures and uh, there's quite a few um, games that I would like to uh, do gameplay videos for um, quite a lot of them well we've got a few that are two player games um, that I want to sit with uh, Ali and play at some point and I'm looking towards the first one being the duet um, variants for wingspan she's not played that yet i've played it once with karina um so we're uh, want to get it videoed and uh, put up with ali and uh, then we've got patchwork that we can do um azul i'd like to get to on the table as well um we've got another one which i've had for a long time which um, we don't play very often but it's called um, odin's ravens so we can uh, get that one on the go as well. There are quite a few games here, and there's some that I've not actually played properly. And one um, I really want to learn how to play, but I just get so confused with it. It's called Skeptics. Um, I don't know why, I just find it tricky to get my head around. Um, but I'm going to try and work on that. Um, but yeah, we've got the Judge Dread Helter Skelter, which I'd like to have a bash at. Whether we play, whether we do that as a solo play or 
a two, three or four player game. I don't know yet. Um, we have the Funko Pops, Nightmare Before Christmas and the Avengers um, board games. Uh, so we can do an Avengers against the Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare, Elm Street, Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Um, then there's the Firefly game, which again is one I'd like to get out and uh, play. We have lots of choices. And uh, I've got my eye on other games as well. Um, I seriously got my eye on a game called Core Space, but I'm not looking towards getting anything like that until um, we, obviously we get back from Cornwall. Um, and I also want to start building up my collection for Smash Up. Um, I've neglected that for a while. So I have plans. Um, I'm looking forward to spending time making videos editing videos, uploading videos and trying to get back on track with my creative side and not only that but trying to spend time with my granddaughter, my grandson, my daughter um, as well as other members of the family um, that's how we're going with we're spending time with brother and sister-in-law uh, when we go to uh, Cornwall so that's going to be nice spending a bit of time with them um, and yeah I'm trying to be I'm trying to be positive I've got a positive outlook at the moment and I want to get things done I want to change the way I'm feeling I want to change how things go so as I say things for me at the moment are positive um, and I'm going to try and keep it that way I'm trying to put going to try and put negative feelings back to one side and on the back burner I don't need them in my life at the moment but we're getting to the end of the video uh, photographs of the finished product will be at the end and uh, as for now I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, until next time as always stay safe and take care God bless and bye for now <laughs>